<clears throat> Hello everyone, my name is Raymond Curtis and I am a Shasta College Forest Science and Technology major and I will be demonstrating the use of the Sunto clinometer for my AGNR50 uh, natural resource and forest measurements class. Um, now, as many people know, uh, if you know one length of a triangle and you know the angle of one of its corners, you can ascertain the length of the other sides of the triangle using trigonometry. Well, that's what a clinometer does. To use a clinometer, you need to travel a set distance away from the base of a tree and then measure the angles to the base and to the top and depending on how far away from the tree you are you can ascertain its height this clinometer has two scales one that will measure the tree from 100 feet and one that will measure the tree from 66 feet now over here i have behind me this lovely redwood tree it's fairly young it's straight it's not that tall so I'm going to be using the 66 foot scale uh, the 1 to 66 on my clinometer to measure I'm going to get over here and stand by the base of this tree now I've already measured this distance out but I'm going to go ahead and pace it again just to check my accuracy and to show you that I know what I'm doing um, I've determined that my pace is 14 paces to 66 feet. So I'm going to do that right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. If you look right there on the ground, that is my 66 foot mark. So, checking my accuracy, and I'm right on, right on time. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sight this tree, and I'm going to do this with both eyes open, and uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to line up at the zero, and then swing the clinometer down, and sight the base of the tree. There's a black line that runs across the middle of the sighting lens. And in this case, I get a reading of negative nine. That means from from directly level, it is nine feet down to the base of the tree from where, where I'm looking. Now I swing it back up to zero, and I swing the clinometer up to the tippy top of the tree, and I am getting a reading of 60. So from this point, it's a simple matter of addition. I'm just going to add the nine that I got from the first reading to the 60 that I got from the second reading, and I will arrive at a height of 69 feet for this tree. And that, my friends, is how you use a clinometer. Thanks for watching my video.